What's up Maximo TV? This is Gabriella Wren and we are at the season two premiere of Hell on Wheels. It's going to be a lot of action, drama and shockers. And what's your favorite element about the show? Just how you get so many like people from different backgrounds, different places in the in, in America that come together and have to work together and they all have like a, a goal and a dream to be something. And that's really what America is, you know, it's like all these different nationalities that come together. You know, it's funny, I talked to some actors from, from our show and I was like, what made y'all want to come be, act in America? They was like, man, America is a, is a place for American dreams, you know? Where do you see your character going in this second season? Well, I see him going through the transition of a person that, that starts to get into power and really feels like, man, you know, he's getting into power and feels like he's going somewhere, but within that process, you can kind of lose certain things. You're going to see, uh, first of all, you're going to see the notch go up a, a couple of steps because of, uh, because of the, the, the story development and because of uh, some increased budget and because of a little bit more time that we've had to develop it. And you're going to see uh, people's ambitions coming to the fore and intertangling and bumping up against each other in ways that are inclusive, more inclusive and uh, I think more dynamic. And do you think your character is actually going to find his revenge in this season coming up? I'm not sure. I, I think that, you know, you can only you can only have so many episodes about searching for the one-armed man until you start to ask the question, well, why are you searching for the one-armed man? And I, I think that that question is going to be is going to be raised and the answers are going to be not necessarily what people are expecting. Super excited. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of changes to the show and we're very, very excited to see the development and, and how the audiences respond to it. We're super excited. And so now changes you mentioned, how so? With characters, I think you're going to find, especially my character Lily, she's gone through a lot of different changes. It's been a couple of months in Hell on Wheels and a lot can happen in the space of a day and this has been a long time, so yeah. Yeah, a lot going on. And so now, being that it's very action-packed, are you more for the action or the dialogue, the serious dialogue? I mean, I think both. They all add to the flavor of the show. Um, I, I'd say people think from the marketing perspective it might be a boy show, but it's, I don't think it is. I think it, girls can get a kick out of it as much as guys, and I think that it's... Um, it's, it's, it's an exciting show. Since season one, we had a lot of manipulation, violence, a lot of drama to say the least. Are we going to be shocked with season two? Crank it up. <laughs> Crank it up to 11. Yeah, to 11. Yeah. Maybe 12. 13. So can we see, are we going to be seeing anything shocking in the second season? Well, Worse than what, what we've already I don't seen? I what your sensibilities are, but I certainly hope so. I mean, the idea really is that it became it's a very hard place to live and so in comparison I would say that you really will see the difference between little hell and the depths of hell and it's only gonna get worse with the upcoming seasons yeah 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 oh, it only did get worse I mean think of <laughs> think of a small town and then think of perhaps when LA was a small town Back in the day. you could never call LA a small town now you know, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and more problems, more, more riches, more beauty, but at the same time, you have that opposite. Th and that's what they've really brought to Hell on Wheels this year. Yeah. If I called season one Little House on the Prairie, this is definitely the good, bad, and the ugly. <laughs> is it? Yeah. So are we going to have any shocking moments in this upcoming season for season two? Yes, uh, I, have, I, I did my first sex scene in my life, and I think that's pretty shocking. Yeah, what does that entail? Uh, sex. Yeah. With who? Can't tell you. Really? You can't? Are you sure about that? Yeah, positive. Can you give us a hint? <laughs> a lovely gal, a lovely, wonderful gal, and I can't say anything. I'll take it, as long as it's a female, right? Well, yeah, well, hey, it's better on the character, but absolutely. Lily, maybe? I can't say anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 
What do you think the fans will be most shocked by in this upcoming season? Anything? Any shockers we're going to get? Um, a lot of shockers. A lot of people are dying. Coming back? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, Eva is like one of the, my favorite characters I've ever played. She's um, you know, based on this real woman, and whenever I kind of, you know, feel like, oh, what's my inspiration for this episode? I just go back to my research and I think, okay, this woman really existed, and that what, imagine that experience of, you know, having lived with a Native American tribe for five years of her life, having, you know, watched them being slaughtered, and just like, how do you move forward from that? And it's kind of a very conflicted. Um, conflicted experience that she's had and, and it's a really great thing to play in the show. I think what well, we established in, in, in season one that, that Sean's kind of willing to do anything and and I, I think a lot of the story this year is, is about finding out actually where what, what his limits are if there is if there is a limit and and what what would really um, bring him undone and make him question what he's doing and, and, and that's that's kind of what we're doing this year. Bigger, badder, uh, more drama. I think a lot more Western iconic imagery for those that love Westerns. Guys on horses with guns, like big bad stuff happening. But I think more importantly, the sort of the context of all these relationships, of all the inner character dynamics are going to be deepening and strengthening. You're going to be seeing alliances formed, alliances broken. I think it really delivers on the promise of what we set up in season one, but sort of takes it to the next level.